Hello my friends, welcome to another episode of Inside Out Electronics. Today we have Prozor 128kHz DUC converter, digital to analog audio converter model DUC01K. This is serious business my friends, very serious business. This can be acquired only at Amazon. Oh. Who am kidding? This is this can be purchased anywhere, in eBay, Alibaba, and stuff like that. Anyway, so this is a uh, as you see, digital to um, to analog converter, digital to analog audio converter. I wanted to use it. I got this one because because I want to have an expensive solution to record audio from the computer to uh, pretty much anything, but with uh, one single twist. Let's take a look on this device and I'll show you what I mean. Alright, so let's do unboxing first. So this little device here, a little uh, user manual right there, multiple language looks like. And what else we have here? We have a cable, which is uh, obviously power. I'm gonna remove unwanted things here. Right. And the the, the, the subject of the most interest to me is this. This is Toslink cable. So my idea is to have this dude galvanically separated, separated from the computer or any other audio source I'm using. My idea is that, uh, well, I, still, I think it still has some sort of wired connection, like a ground or something. Uh, maybe ground, maybe, I don't know. Looks like it's just uh, one, but maybe I'm mistaken. And um, yeah, I'm not sure if this Toslink cable has electrical connection of any kind. Looks like maybe maybe it has. So my idea to connect com uh, this to computer, for example, via optical, and use this Prozor uh, DAC in order to feed uh, audio into my, for example, cassette deck. Okay. So, uh, right, this is very, very uh, tiny device and very simple. Let's take a look. What, obviously, I'm most interested to see what's inside. And it is made in China. It has a, this is the metal can, essentially. So, that's good. I hope it's shielded. And uh, let's take a look what's inside. It's only, it has only one screw, which is cool. Uh, one screw, I'm gonna keep those here, and how does it goes apart? Aha, uh -huh, it just slides off, it's just like that. Ta-da! So, we have a few chippies right here, and uh, that's it. It's not much going on really here, I thought it's gonna be more than that. Um, let's just completely pull it out. Supposedly it is shielded because uh, those screws are connected to this container and um, I hope this is... Yeah, those big vias are... looks like they are grounded. Only two screws instead of four because here's four holes. One-sided load, nothing... completely nothing going on on the other side. Yeah, that's it. Some shitty soldering job. Whole bunch of um, flux left. Oh, look at this interesting over here. It has five pins for SV, it's probably software connector of some sort. That's pretty cool. It has 3.5 millimeter um, uh, headphones uh, connector over here, and two RCA jacks, one RCA coaxial jack, one power, and one optical. What's going on there? Yeah, one optical. So that's what we have. Uh, let me take a look at those chippies over here and we will continue up close. Alright, so, um, as you see, there is a minimal amount of parts over here. One capacitor, one voltage regulator. This dude can regulate, um, I think, it up to 6 volt and uh, voltage. Uh, used by all those uh, logic chips are is 3.3 volts. So this is 3.3 volt fixed regulator. It is AMS1117. 
uh, these two dudes, as I mentioned before, this is Cirrus Logic, it clearly indicated here, it's pretty uh, big device, and this one is digital uh, audio receiver, which converts uh, up to 192 kilohertz, 24 bits digital signal to I square S bus. And this little dude is actually a Delta Sigma uh, duck, I think, uh, which is uh, CS4344 from Cirrus Logic, from the same Cirrus Logic. Oh, sorry, I forgot to mention this guy. CS8416 CZZ, whatever that CZZ means. And uh, so those two devices are uh, working together, essentially. This one is decoding uh, those two inputs and converts into a square as signal and this little dude takes it and converts it to analog data. So this little dude, uh, CS4344, supports up to uh, 192 kilohertz sampling and 24 bit. On the paper sounds pretty cool. Um, not sure um, how it's gonna perform because in the paper as I mentioned it sounds cool. Minimal amount of components. There are two, two transistors over here which I assume they are left and right channel for headphone. Uh, output because I don't think you need those two transistors for the linear uh, outputs. I hope uh, they are not engaged in this case. Otherwise, I'm not sure if they are necessary. I would like to have output straight from the from this device without any uh, passive components. But who knows? Maybe you have to actually take a look what's going on here. I don't really have a schematic of this um, of this digital analog, uh, analog extender or converter uh, I would like to see but judging by amount of uh, stuff it's pretty minimal there is some bypass capacitors here bunch of resistors and they are not used as as any part it's probably just a to provide this serious logic device a certain um, turned into certain modes because it looks like they are directly on those pins over here um, I'm, again, I'm not expert in this particular area, I'm just um, guessing here. Uh, um, uh, I will include uh, PDFs for this and this dude into my in article on my website and also some detailed photos of this board. Maybe someone want to like trace it. Also try to search if there is a schematic for it. Uh, already like maybe someone done it or it's published somewhere. Uh, yeah, but it looks pretty minimal here and uh, yeah oh, an LED over here probably indicates that all this jazz is powered so my idea was to power all this from batteries um, also I don't know what's the don't do not know what's the current uh, what's the um, energy consumption of this unit is uh, so I don't know how long gonna last but the, because this um, this little device can take up to 6 volt and convert it to 3.3 I think that's uh, that's gonna be fine like 4 double A's is perfect scenario or 4 uh, double A's uh, rechargeables gonna work perfectly uh, just to make sure I do not add any crap over the uh, Power, like so power is as clean as possible from battery is gonna be as clean as possible just only want to make sure that the battery is not drained beyond their capacity and it's just gonna probably behave weirdly if uh, voltage drops be a thing lower than 4.7 or 4.2 volts I don't remember exact spec of this guy so uh, I think I cannot add any more except just try to power it up but uh, I think powering up will be straightforward I'm just gonna connect it to computer with optical you're gonna be just like so click and this other part goes into like uh, my device either computer or whatever and uh, from here I'm gonna take a um, uh, linear um, signal uh, uh, stereo signal so I would like to check what's the level of the uh, voltage here also some people mentioned that this dude may have some positive DC voltage um, uh, like offset on those on those two which is not good because it like it's uh, um, it's bad idea to keep it and technically it can be just uh, 
filter it via the capacitor just to make sure this the positive uh, DC offset is not getting out uh, on those RCA jack but uh, I have to measure this because you never know with those guys you never know so this is gonna be pretty much it because I think connecting this to computer is uh, beyond all of this video it's just I know it's gonna work uh, because this unit is straightforward unless it's just damaged or malfunctioning but as it is it will work it's just connected to computer and then you set your um, uh, digital toslink device to specific standard by the way this does not support uh, Dolby or DTS or anything like that two channel stereo every uh, this is the the minimal uh, this is the only standard uh, this device would support but for my in for my scenario this is what I need so guys, I hope that was interesting because uh, I was clearly looking for some tear down on the internet. I couldn't find anything uh, or anyone who tear down this particular device. So I think uh, if you are looking for something like that, very cheap of Amazon or something like that, please take a look at my description. Take a look at uh, whatever uh, I found. And uh, I will also share my findings if this thing doesn't work and in case it doesn't perform as it's supposed to be. I mentioned that as well. But at this moment, I'm gonna wrap it up. So thank you guys for watching and see you next time.